One mom is turning a tragedy into a life-saving mission. Today, organ donor recipients got to meet friends and family of a young high school student who died doing what he loved. Yona Gavino has the report from Baylor All Saints Hospital in Fort Worth. After her son's life was lost, Cassandra Singleton opened her heart and shared his. I got to listen to his heartbeat. I felt such a connection because not only is that my son's heart, but it's also the recipient's heart now. 15-year-old Aaron Singleton's life beats on in 62-year-old Mike Norton's. For anything I do the rest of my life, Aaron's taken me there. It, it, he's not gone. He's right here. I feel it. The all-around high schooler. Baseball, football, track, band, choir. Died November of last year after a hard hit during a JV football game. <laughs> Classmates packed together, blending their voices. His heart, kidney, liver, and pancreas restored life for three people. Now looking forward to what the future holds. I will be able to hold my grandbabies and where I wasn't going to be able to do that if I did not receive this gift. Friends and family are raising money for a memorial statue outside Joshua High School Stadium. Cassandra hopes her son's legacy inspires and educates. Aaron's brain is, uh, was donated for research. We just want them to be as protected as possible. Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News.